everyone, Richard Carlton here, along with Nick, who's right over my head. I can't see Nick. No, there he is. What's up? All right, there's Nick. Hello, Nick. Richard Carlton here. How are you, Nick? Are you happy? I'm doing good. Always happy. You're always happy. So Nick is back with us today for another action-packed day. Hello. I'm going to turn the camera. Awesome. Folks are awesome. Thank you for being here. So welcome to FMTrain.tv, where we create awesome FileMaker training. Today's uh, broadcast is uh, of a kind of a folks, I'm going to move Nick down here, so he's hiding down the corner down there, uh, is going to be a little bit more intermediate to advanced. I think if you're a beginning FileMaker developer, you see themes, and you kind of use the pre-built themes, but you don't really care to build your own, unless you're just like kind of like artist person. And so what we want to do is today, we're going to talk about building your own theme, what that does for you, and fundamentally, what I care about themes personally, like I don't really want to design my own theme. I could, but I don't. What I care about, though, is something called custom themes and shared styles. And what it is is that you share the styles on objects on your objects on that layout. And by doing the shared styles on those objects, you cut down on the amount of code that makes the page work. If you cut down the amount of code, that's the less code that goes through the network from your server to your client. So you can actually make things go faster up to twice as fast. I know because I've got the stopwatch out and done it before. So Nick, over the next few days, will probably cover that a little bit, but I think most of it is about what are themes, why do they matter, all that kind of stuff. So if you're brand new, um, welcome, Bunny. Welcome, um, Trixie, uh, some of the brand new people. Um, I think probably more in here to intermediate level people be the ones that want to get into this, or senior people who've just notoriously neglected themes. Um, welcome as well. So this broadcast is sponsored by... FM Training Tech TV, where you get the greatest FileMaker training at an amazing low price. Visit FMTraining.tv. You can press the live button and see the upcoming schedule, which is really awesome. Next three days are Nick. But if you want to help support the channel, we really recommend that you check out the bundles button on FM Training, where you can uh, purchase one of our bundles where you get all our. Uh, on-demand training. So what we're doing live training here, but it's not really animated other than me waving my hands and blowing stuff up and, and cracking jokes and yelling at Nick and whatever else happens. Um, and so this is kind of on-demand. You can ask questions. The uh, or this is, this is live and it's uh, impromptu, not on-demand. On-demand trains where we record it, it gets edited, we focus on the message, we animate to reinforce it. So it's a better, frankly, a learning experience. You just can't ask questions there. And you can't really dictate the topics because we set the topics here. Once again, if you go to the live training, you can see the upcoming topics. If you wanted to learn today about anchor buoy relational design, not here, you're not gonna learn with us. You'd have to go to our live training, buy one of our training bundles, press the button, you can learn all about relationships. So we want to encourage you to support the channel. We really appreciate it. We are broadcasting in high definition to Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. So three different avenues simultaneously. It's pretty great. All right, Nick, you're ready to go. Smile. Okay, you're, what are you looking at? You look like, is there like, you're looking off in space. So. No, no, I'm not. I'm looking at what I'm going to talk about. So. Okay. <laughs> all right, go. Go, baby, go. Okay, so uh, thank you guys to be here today for this uh, three days of uh, interesting topic of creating a theme from scratch. So why why I'm doing this is because first of all, never had never been never been uh, uh, recorded, so you you cannot you don't see that anywhere, and uh, and that will help us to understand how theme are working. Okay, so and you will learn to what where you have control and where you don't have control so that will help you to uh, understand better objects and maybe and i hope build less ugly things because sometimes with theme uh, you get stuck on something and you don't know what's going on like or you have a double border and you don't understand why you have two borders together so it's thick then so sometimes it's, it doesn't look great it doesn't look right and you don't know how to get back uh, so we are going to learn. Okay, we are going to learn all the objects in FileMaker, uh, all the all the layout objects and how they behave uh, with the with the you know the uh, with the theme. We are going to learn how to manipulate those uh, those objects, the controls, 
and the, the, the style control and the style library into the, into the layout mode, right? So we are going to learn to use that as well. Uh, also, at the end of the, of the third day will be more about what you shouldn't do with theme and how you break things, because sometimes you can break something. You can, you, 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 let's say you have a hundred of layouts and you change something in the theme and boom, all the hundred layouts, they are messed up now because you changed something in the theme. So, uh, so I, I'm going to show you how, how, where to be careful and how to manipulate those objects. And, and, and most of us, most of all, how to change, how to, um, uh, what, how to change object, you know, how you to apply changes without to break everything else down the road, right? So uh, I'm going to uh, share my screen, right? okay? So uh, I've built uh, this um, little file here. Um, so at the end of the, the at the end of the course, I'm not I'm not sure that if we if I will be ready uh, for Wednesday uh, for a, a Thursday delivery. I hope to be ready for Friday uh, for you know for the dead bird day um, to have a file with a complete theme that I can uh, distribute. Okay, so hey. the, with the theme completely done. Okay, so. At the end of the at the end of those three days, I won't have the theme completely done, polished and uh, nice, you know, nicely behaving. But I will need some time, some more time. But I will I will try all my best to be ready for Friday. Okay, I'm starting. So this is uh, all the objects uh, that you can have on the Farmico layout. So you have fields, okay. Uh, then you have labels, um, and then you have uh, uh, calendars, you know, dates with the calendar icon. Uh, so that that is a drop down calendar. Uh, you have a drop down menu, and you have a pop up menu, check boxes, and uh, radio button and containers. Okay, this is what you have. Okay, so uh, then you have this is what we call fields. Okay, this is different fields. Then you have controls. So the what do, what control do you have? First of all, you have tab control, which is this one. Okay, then you have button. Popover, button balls, slide control, web viewer, right? Then you have the portals with the alternate kind of uh, uh, rows and the, act, the active row, and you have the field inside, and you have the border, and you have the the the, uh, the scrolling bar here, and then you have shapes, uh, text, block, uh, line square, round square, and oval, okay? So uh, this is all the object you have. So we are going to, uh, also in the layout, I, I forgot about, in the layout you have object and also you have what we call parts. You have the title header, actually you are, here I put all the parts you can have, okay? The layout parts, you know? So I put here all the layout you can have. The top navigation, the title header, the header, the leading grand summary, sub summary uh, leading. Uh, actually, I, I can add a new one, which be the sub summary trailing. So you have the leading and the trailing, uh, the trailing grand summary, the footer title footer, and you have the button navigation. So here you have all the parts set up you can have because a theme, a theme style the style applied to all of this, okay? So um, you have themes that are uh, already, um, what's the name, um, predefined here. But you have different, you have themes that are very different. For example, let's duplicate this and let's go to this field. And so here you have different theme, okay? So when you, you take Enlighten, for example, you have a preview of the theme, and you click here, you see that, for example, this change the color, this change, this change, the, 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 the background of the header change, the background of the, of, the ty of the top navigation change, it's a little bit darker than this one, and that more gray, and you have the same here, and then you have the footer, you have kind of a, uh, it's a, it's a gradient here, and also on the body you have a gradient. No, the solid color. Okay, 
So you have sometimes you have gradient and stuff like that. So if you change to another theme, tranquil or luminous, for example, so you see you have a completely different theme, uh, and the buttons change, right? And uh, so you have you have multiple things like this. You know, you have, you have different objects and stuff. Okay. So now, if you can change, you can have you have all the theme you want, and then you have theme for touch. Okay, uh, you know, for the for the iPhone, iPhone and iPad, and then you have this new theme, which is not a new theme; it's a, just a, a variant of a of a theme. Uh, so this is more for the C. Uh, uh, it's it's destroying everything when you use it. Uh, so um, it's not uh, it's not a good thing. So you can you can go down and go. You can uh, uh, cancel everything. Okay. So this theme here, uh, uh, the new theme that they've supposedly built here, uh, I don't know why they put that here, um, but it's not, a, it's not a brand new theme. Because I want to show you something about theme here. Uh, when you use, let's say we, we use the enlightenment uh, theme here. You can see here, you have for different, some object here has are styles with with a dot here. See, you have a little dots. When you have a style with a dot, it means the uh, the style is tied to a part. Let me explain. I am in a head. Let's say I'm taking the the text the text tool here and I'm drawing a text here in the header, and I'm 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 saying okay, hello. Okay, it's white, bold, and he automatically selected the, the 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 style header text. Now, I'm going I'm going to the footer, and I'm I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to type a text here. Automatically, he's selecting the title footer text. He detects automatically where you are, where you have generated the 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 object, and and by magic. It changed the style, uh, right? So that was that was the 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 what Farmaker wanted to do with theme, and they abandoned this because, as I said multiple times, the two guys know that knew what going on there. They left uh, Adam and me. Okay, so uh, so that's why you will never have a theme with such level of certification of of sophistication anymore. Okay, uh, but anyway, uh, we don't care about what Farmaker do. Uh, we want our own team theme, okay? So I'm going to build today a theme based on Discord, right? I want to replicate Discord as a theme. So how I'm doing this? So first of all, okay, I'm a designer, so I can I can tell you that I have everything I need here. Already here, I have everything. But uh, if you go more here, and you can see here, you have even more thing that you need to replicate in order to create the theme. Uh, what do we have? We have fields. What this? Fields. Selected, back. We have labels. We have buttons. We have one kind of button. We have another kind of button. We have a, a button here. Then we have button bars here. We can use that as a button bar or kind of for, you see, and then we can use that here, for example, see this as a portal. Uh, we have text block, we have uh, pl plenty of good things. So we can use plenty of things here as, you know, as a, what's the name, as a, um, a reference to create our own team. We have drop, you know, a drop down menu or pop up menu, right? Uh, then we have here, uh, we have here, we have uh, popovers. See, we can use that as a popover, and then we can have this kind of buttons as well. And we have different different kind of variants on the on the button. See, you have the purple purple uh, accent button, and you have the red action button. Actually, it's magenta. Uh, you have a uh, plenty of good stuff here that you can use, right? See, this we can use that as a we can even use that as a power, right? So we have plenty of things we can use here to create our own theme, okay? We have everything we need. We have the accents, 
So definitely, you, we all understand that our Discord, um, we all understand that Discord accent is the purple. Purple, purple, you know, um, oh, here, purple, right? Oops. So they have a lot of purple thingy, you know? Purple, so the, 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 ax, the main accent is purple. For example, um, if I go here, see the, 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 the luminous, uh, the enlightened, for example, the main accent is gray, right? Because everything's gray. But if I change to another kind of for, to another theme here, uh, like not this one, but uh, let's say this one, okay? The, the accent will be blue, right? Uh, so this one is, uh, so if I see accent is blue and you have another one like this, right? You have different kind of accents. So we are going, and they call that accent, accent button one, accent button two. So we are going to use the same kind of technique here. We are going to call things. We are, we are going to have a default, a default object, and then we are going to have different accents and different alternates, OK? So uh, for example, here we have a here and another accent here, and then we have an alternate. That will be the ax that will be the default, but that will be the accent one, and that will be the accent one alternate because it's reversed. See, it's the same color with the same accent but reversed. So, another thing that I want to tell you about theme: you never call object in the theme. Never ever say, okay, oh, you know this. Whether you change something here, right? Let's say you change something. And you say, oh, I want to name this. OK, this is, uh, this is the uh, status. This is status. Uh, the, you name the style status. Uh, no, this is not the style status. That means, oh, if I want to apply the same style to phone, right, I can't because it's not status, it's phone. So you, you know what I mean? So you never tie the name of a style to, uh, um, uh, to, uh, to, what, to uh, the entity of the object. This is status, but it's not status. It's a pop, pop menu. It's not status. You know what I mean? It's very important. The naming is very important because otherwise, you, you, if you if you import export the theme to one solution to another, it doesn't work. So uh, I'm going to show how to import theme uh, in another day. Okay, we are, we are, I want to move on here and 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 explain things. Yeah, yeah. So I like this question here. Uh, the preview theme generated by itself. Yes, and I show you how. Okay, so let's say I'm creating my own theme because we are going to create the. We, we are going to create a theme here. So let's start. Actually, I'm going to answer that question by doing the thing, OK? So uh, let's revert everything to the, OK. This is my, uh, actually, I can even delete this. Uh, OK. I'm here, and I want to create my own theme. How I'm doing this? There's no way here, if you go to theme, you cannot say new theme. You can import theme, OK? But you can create a new theme. What you can do, and here now, the, in, here theme, you can even say new one. No, what you do, you do a change, whatever change on on one. Let's say you do this, okay, right, and then you change it back. So for for FileMaker, you made a change. How I know I made a change? I made a change because I have this. The button here become. Uh, red. That means I made a change. Uh, th the default is changed. See here that the, that default says nothing here, and now I'm saying okay, I put that red or purple and back to white. It says that a change, and here you have kind of an asterisk to tell you that you have a change. So now what you do, you save the change to the current style, and now. You made a change to a style, so it tells you that the theme has changed. 
okay? This one now, now telling you, you did a change here. Then now you can say, save the changes of that team theme as a new theme. Yeah, I know, I know guys, uh, I mean, I know. Uh, don't, 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 don't get me there. I know it doesn't make any sense, but welcome to the pharmacy world, okay? So, uh, so new, I know. So now you can name your theme. And I want to name this theme Disco because this was, you know, this call, because this will be the, the name of the theme, right? Because we are going to replicate this code as a theme. So now everything is back to normal. And I have a new theme named Discord. If I go here, I have a custom theme named Discord. Okay? So this now is my own uh, theme. So you know what I've done? I start with minimalist, which is the basic, 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 basic. Okay? Minimalist. And I made a change, slight change, you know. I saved the change to the current style, and then he, he said, okay, <clears throat> you made a change to the theme, so then you could say save as new. Because now I cannot say save as new. Okay? I can just rename the theme. Why? Because you cannot rename, you cannot rename those theme, right? The, the, the default uh, built-in theme, you cannot rename them, but you can rename the custom. Okay. So, I have a theme here, Disco. So now we can start. Let's get started. Okay. And um, so now, uh, if I go there, look what it did. It took, so I want to answer the question of TK. It took the preview of whatever I had when I saved the theme. Each time you do a save theme, it take a screenshot, it's time a snapshot of where you are. Let's say I'm changing this and I'm changing this, you know? I know it's ugly, I know. I, I, I do this, right? Right? And I do this. Now, I have this as a preview. So it take a preview at the latest, the, it take a preview, it selects a screenshot of this square here. It, it draws kind of a, uh, you know, it takes a screenshot of this area and use that as a preview for the theme. So that's why most of the time when I'm building a theme, I have a layout showing kind of a, you know, mimicking what Pharmaco is doing here. Uh, you see, for those, I have the same kind of thing. I have a layout showing this, and then I can, each time I'm saving the theme, at the end when I'm done, when I'm done, with my theme, I'm going to do it for Discord. I will have a nice preview built for the with the Discord theme. Okay, I, I, I'm going to do it. So now, as you can see, I'm I'm kind of screwed because I have saved the theme. Um, I have saved the theme, uh, the style and the theme. So I cannot revert, you know, pretty much, you know, because I cannot undo. I can undo, you know, I can't undo it. I can't undo, can't undo. I can't undo what I've done because I saved the theme. That's why you don't save the theme every five minutes. You need to make sure that what you do is relevant, okay? So let's go back at, so anyway, it was white here and it was white here, so it was kind of, it's kind of easy. So, I ch so see, I made a change here, so I can save to current. And now I do this, uh, I, I go back to white, uh, how it was, you know, white. I go back to white, and I save the theme, right? And there's a style, and then I save the theme. So now back, my preview is back to the white it was because I just saved the theme. So I'm going to come back on this later, okay? So it's not it's just in this demonstration. Yeah, so it's so it's both. It's an automatic screenshot, but you you, it, it's done at the save as a saving. So let's go and start it. So I want to use, uh, yeah, as people are under, are out of control on Discord. That's why we love Discord so much. So, um, so the, the, I want to start with the beginning. 
you know, let's start with the beginning. The beginning is the th we are going to start to replicate this. We are going to replicate the, the this um, label, and we are going to replicate the field with the same background, with the same behavior, with the same on focus uh, border here, the same text, the same colors, everything the same. Okay, we are going to replicate this. So what I'm doing, what I'm using for that. First, we need the color. So I'm using a tool named, uh, what's the name of this tool? Uh, uh, color Slap, okay? So you can go to Pro, but I don't care. Uh, so Color Slap, okay? So it's just, a, a, it's, it's a tool that, uh, you know, you can click on, here on the, on the, on the little, uh, you know, this here. I don't know how to call that. And you can, you know, here you can see magnify a lot and you can drag in here, see, and you can pick the color. So what I want to pick here, I want to pick the color. First of all, I want to pick the color of the background. Sorry, uh, I knew I was skipping something. We are going to keep, we are going to take that as a background, this color here as a background. So I'm going to call my guy here and I'm going to do this. I'm going to select that a background. So. I slurp the color, and this is the number I need to copy paste into FileMaker. So I'm copying this color, name, num number here. I'm going to FileMaker, and I'm going to select the body. See, I'm selecting the body here, and I'm going to apply. So I'm going to apply on the body. I'm going to apply the color. So you click on the body, you click on the color, and here you paste the color code that you just copied from the Slurp application. This is my background. Okay, so let's move that out for the moment. And I just want to replicate, right? I just want to replicate the, the field. So I'm copying this here. So now I want to take care of the label and the field here. So back to this code, okay, and I want to take the field. Let's start with the label. Same thing here. I click on my magnifier and I copy the, you see this gray color. So I copy this one. So now I go to FileMaker and I paste this. So I go to the text color here and I say I want to paste this color. Oops. So that the color, see, we recognize it. It is, it is the same color, see? Start to look the same, right? But in the style, for the moment I didn't, uh, I didn't save style. So for example, body, I forgot to save the style. So I need to save the style here. And here I have a new color, but it's not done. The font used on Discord is Helvetic and new, okay? And as you notice here, all the labels are in kind of a semi-bold or something like this. Uh, uh, bold, what the, do you have ultra light, thin, light, medium? Maybe medium. Yeah, they're in medium. See, they're in medium. And they are whatever what the style here, they are um, uppercase. So that means whatever you type here, they are uppercase and they are a little bit smaller. I think they are 11. Look very close, right? See? Look very close. Actually, I'm not sure they are 11. Maybe they are 12. Let me see. I think they are. No, it's, ele no, it's 11. No, it's 12 is too big. Um, 12, uh, no, it's 12, okay. So now we have, now we have a nice looking label that look like uh, the same as this one, right? So I want to save this as a style, as my default. So I'm going there, I'm selecting the object I just created and I select the change and I, and I and I save the style, okay? Now, so I have 
a new default for body, a new default for the label. And you can, as you can see, the style here, the style here, this one, uh, allows me to have, to store the, the fonts, the, 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 the behavior, uh, the, you know, the, the font family, the font style, the, the, the size, uh, optional styles here, you know, formatting styles, uh, and etc. Even even those things are stored as well. I think I'm going to put the alignment to be on the on the left, not on the right. See, I'm going to put that the alignment as well. So I just made a change. So now it says, oh, you just made a change here. So you need to save again the style. So now I have a very robust style for the lab for the labels. Let's take care of the field, right? So the field, there's many, many things in the, on the field, okay? See, there's many things. You have, we have, a, we have a, a, the, 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 the format, but, all, but we have also a state. So I'm going, to, I'm going to explain you what the state is, okay? So I'm tucking this guy here back, and I say, okay, I want to slurp the color of the background. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm selecting here. So that's the color of the background of the field. See, here I'm outside, here I'm inside. Okay, so going back to FileMaker and I say, okay, this is my background for the label, right? So far, so good. Now, here, I want the border, because here, see, I have a white border. This is not a white border here. So I want the border. So I'm taking back my slurp stuff, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting the border. The border is here. This is the border. I slurp the color. I copy the color, right? Go back to FileMaker, selecting this, and I say, OK, the border is back. Now. You can see here this the I don't know if you can see, but there's a round border. It's rounded a little bit. It's slightly round here. It's not square. It's not perfectly square. It's slightly round. So I click here and I put one, two, three. I know the, the radius, the radius here is free to mimic the same. Okay. See, it's rounded a little bit. So now that I have this. Okay, I want to continue. I want the I want now the color of the text. Same thing. I'm going here, taking the magnifier, and I try to suck the color of the text because it's not white. It's not white. It's a little bit gray. Okay, so I click. I select this. Go to FileMaker, and I say, okay, the text is. The text is this color. Now, looks very close to the, the one here, but something wrong with the font. Yes, the font is Helvetica new, and I know by a fact that that is 15, okay? So, uh, so now we have something very similar to this one, okay? Looks very very similar. Uh, yeah. So now uh, I have this, but it's not enough. You think you're done, but you're not. So if I click here, I go to browse mode. You see that the the color here is not the the purple, and this is too close. The padding here is too close from the borders. See, too close. So I know by a fact that the padding, the default padding is, and we you know when I know, when I say I know by a fact is because I have uh, uh, analyzed the thing before. So now, uh huh, looks very, very familiar, very similar, look like, like a perfect copy, right? So if I say this, uh, username, username, 
Galaxy looks very, very similar. Okay. Uh, maybe this one is a little bit. Uh, I think maybe this is uh, 11 and bold. Let me try this. Yeah, it is. See? Okay. So I changed the color of this. So I changed the, the style of this. I need to save this one. So now I have the, the correct padding here. So I have I put the 10, 10, 10, you know, here on the padding, which means I put now it is not possible anymore to go smaller than this. You know what I mean? The field are not smaller than this. I can't because I have the padding. If I do this, then now I can do this, right? But otherwise, the default is this, okay? And that's what we want. We want to replicate, we want to replicate um, kind of for this code, right? That's what we want to do. So now I want to replicate the border here. So here the trick is, when I get out of fur, you see, when I get in, it's there. When I get out, it's not. But uh, I know that I can suck this color here because they are using the same color as this one. So the, I have the color here, I can suck in the color, okay? So, uh, so I'm, I have my color here, and now I go to my style, the, my state. Those are what we call object state the normal, the hover, the pressed, and the in focus. What I want is the in focus because I want to change the color of the in focus, correct? I want the default color of the in focus. So now I'm saving this. So look what we have now. Ta-da, ta-da, the same, the same. Same thing, very close. Actually, the, the uh, it's a little bit bigger on our uh, on this code, so it could be uh, 11, 11, 11, 11. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, now it's perfect. See, so it's this. See, now it's now it looks very very similar. So it could be that this code has a different, um, what's the name, uh, a different aspects is because they have uh, a different way. They, can, they have much more control here because they, they are under, what's the name? They are under native application and they have more, much more control on the fonts that we have. Uh, so it looks a little bit less uh, close here. See uh, the spacing between here. Between we don't have those control here. They they had a little bit, maybe one percent more uh, uh, space between characters that we do here. We don't have this kind of control on Farmaker, so um, so I don't, I don't even try to do it. So um, so here I have now I have my stuff. What I want to do now, I want to keep those colors that I just sucked in. For example, I want to keep the color of the background of the body. I want to keep that in my library. So what I'm doing here, I'm doing this, you know? I'm sucking the color from here, here. I want to keep the color of the background here, which is not the same. It's a, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit darker, you know? Oops. So a little bit darker, but I want to keep it. Now, I want to keep the, also a color that is very important is the gray color for here. I want to keep it in my library, right? For, for, for further use, you don't want to use that stuff here all the time. You want to do it at the beginning and then you reuse the color. You, you know, you, you want to keep them into your library. Now, also, what I want to keep here, I want to keep the color of the, uh, you know, of the of the, the 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 purple color just sucked in here, and I put here. Okay, 
because this is background. I put the background color here, and then I put the, what's the name, the more accent color. This is background color and accent color. This is my way. You can replicate that, but you don't need to. So, so far, uh, do we have any question here on Discord? Uh, at which point do you define your own color palette? In your Launchpad V3, you have a lot of different color, like different grays, blue, yeah. Okay, so the question is, at which point do you define your own color palette? In your Launchpad V3, you have a lot of uh, uh, different colors, like different grays, blue, uh, yeah, because it's, um, you will see, uh, we will have a lot of colors as well. See here, we will have a lot of, we, this one here, the background for the search box, it's a, it's not, it's a black color. Uh, then you, we have the gray here, is the, the gray here, let me draw. The, dra the gray here is darker than this one and then darker than this one, right? So we will have all the, and is, this one is lighter than this one, this one, this one. So we will have all those grays. Then you have this gray here in the bottom here is grayer than this one is different. Uh, then we have here inside here, you will have different. So we will have a different level of colors, a uh, different level of grays. And depending on where you are, for example, when you're here, uh, you have also see different kind of different grays uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, we at, at, at one point, I'm not sure they are the same. We need to check those things, right? And then you have this gray, this accent. You have this accent. Then you have this accent here, right? So uh, you have a lot of different, and then you have different grays here for those kind of buttons. So yeah, that's why I create my own. A lot. That's a little many many colors here. Okay, Nick, I have, a, I have a, having an issue changing the color of the up and down arrow in the color in the scroll bar. Yeah, uh, uh, Miss Net Lobster, you can do it. You cannot. You don't have control. That, that thing that I, what I was talking about at the beginning of the of the of the of the session, the thing you have no, absolutely no control. And that is one. So. That's why, you know, for example, our, in this code here, you see the, the, the scroll bar, we don't have scroll bar pretty much here. You see that? You have the automatic hiding scroll bar. That is the default of Mac OS. I, I don't know if on PC they have the same thing. But you don't have scroll bars here, you know? Uh, and this is because in my system here, in the mouse, I told the thing that I don't want scroll bars. Uh, where is this on um, trackpad? Maybe uh, point um, forge. Uh, where is the tro uh, where is the scroll and zoom? Oh, it's in appearance. Uh, okay, always. So if I'm doing this, you see, even Discord doesn't have them. Uh, because when you do this, you start having those, you know, those uh, here. Uh, when you when you go to your system uh, preference, and you say you want to show the uh, one scrolling automatically based on the on the mouse, and you know when scrolling auto always see always you have this coming, and when scrolling you have only on scrolling, and they are more elegant. Than uh, so I don't know it's on PC but on Mac you have the same thing. For example, when you when you have a a portal on on Mac on, on Farmaker, when you have a portal here, you can say oh always when scrolling to show the scroll bar. Right? That's why I'm, I always say on when scrolling because I hate the scroll bar on Farmaker. Uh, so, okay, don't you have an edit the XML to edit scroll bars? Uh, maybe, I don't know, I, I, I never went that far. It's a way to be, okay, is it a way to be able to change font all through all the theme at all, all the, at all time? Yeah. Oh, you mean for all the font for all the objects? No. Anyway. Uh, as a rule, 
and that is for the font. Um, as a rule, in design, that is not something for that is related to Farmaker theme. If that is related on design period, on UI design, you never do this. You never do this. Uh, this, uh, uh, yeah, they, they all look aside the same, right? That's funny. They have 500 phones, they all look the same. I need one that looks something different. Uh, times, a, and uh, maybe uh, uh, courier. Okay, you don't do this. Okay, you don't do this. Uh, each uh, label, you know, each field or different color, or uh, you have a buttons with a different color, uh, different font. Sorry, uh, you know. Uh, you don't do that, you know, you, you don't. Uh, in design, you don't. You have one font, and you stick with this font all across. Um, uh, uh, Discord use a uh, variant of Helvetica Neu, and all over, the, all over the place is Helvetica Neu. It's not another font. You have different style of the same font, uh, bold, uh, you, you know, uh, underline, whatever, but you don't have a different font, you know. Um, I know by fact because uh, that uh, Slack, for example, use a font named Lato, okay. So and and the the, the and they use the font all across the, the 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 application, okay. I even have it. Lato. This is a this is a Slack font, but it's not a font that is default in the system. So you need to ask people to install the font uh, in the system in order to use your solution. Otherwise, when a, when you use a font in a theme that is not in the system, automatically Pharmaca will do this. This will change to area. Okay, automatically. If the if Pharmaca doesn't see a font in, of, of the theme, it goes straight to uh, uh, Arial. Okay. So, any further question here? Or let me see where my Discord is. Uh, Discord. Okay. Uh, is Avenir next a suitable font for theme according to Nick Stenner? But yeah, any uh, my 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 standard. So um, the question is, hold on, is the way to change? So yeah, the, the question about uh, Bilbo, the question about changing like one one font to another font at once, it's not possible. You need to go to all the objects and change the fonts of all the objects. You cannot go and the, and say, okay, I was using Avenir, now I want to change, I want to use Helvetica. You know, I cannot do that. I saw. Uh, I thought I saw online that you have to open a theme file XML to and edit. Yeah, maybe you can do. It. I, I don't know that. I don't. I never went there. Uh, I, I can't confirm or infirm what you say. I never. I never. Moki. I don't. I don't know. Maybe you can do that. Can we do that? Uh, I'm asking the question uh, because I never did that. I think so. I think I saw something or something from Farm because that we can do that. Um, but today I want to stay in the farm. Anyway, I want to stay in the farmmaker kind of environment. I never had to go that far to do it. Uh, is Avenir next a suitable font for a theme? I could, yeah, uh, why not? Uh, there's no suitable font. It's um, the font you like. Just what my rule is, if you use Avenir Next, which is a nice font, um, if you use it, you use it everywhere, fields and uh, labels and buttons, and uh, you don't start using, you know, uh, and you can use, and you have, but okay, you use one font, family, but you use, uh, you have all those um, styles, all those styles, right? And and all the, all the colors you want and all the size you want, right? So, yeah, the same font family, but 
a, an infinity of uh, possibility on it, right? You know what I mean, right? So it's uh, yeah. Just I just want to replicate this code. That's why I'm uh, you know I I, I use the Helvetica. Now you want, you need to be careful on something uh, about the font. Uh, if you use a font, you need to make sure that that the font is installed in the system by default. Uh, and that is Mac OS and Windows. So you need to have the a font list uh, that is common on both platform. And so I don't know if uh, Avenir Next is. Uh, I don't have PCs. This cause you, you, yeah, okay. They use Unisense font. Yeah, that what that what they say on the on online, but it's not really the case. Uh, Unisense font is our. Uh, uh, all cap. Uh, it's an all cap font. Uh, so it's uh, for some things they use the Unisense. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's anyway. We we off topic about this code here. What I want. What, what, the last thing I want to demonstrate today is now that I have a I have a I have a theme, so I can even save my 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 um, uh, theme now. I have, I, have, I have those new kind of uh, styles and stuff like that. Now, if I click here and I say emails, look what happens. I have I have Discord style uh, fields automatic. See? Fancy. Huh? See? So, so we start to have a theme and of course all my fields change it automatically here so that's the field that I had before remember mm. but they didn't resize and stuff like that so you select them all and now tuck, like yeah. by magic wow. so now all my all field also has this right and you can create a new layout okay. I, I have a question the, the the field spacing here that's part of the that's in the theme too it saves that as part yes, of the thing yes exactly cool. that, yeah yeah so here you can see I changed the padding here. It's 10. So that means because I wanted to replicate, uh, I want to replicate the Discord padding, which is here. Uh, see, it's 10. So I want to replicate this uh, kind of a, a, a behavior here. And as you can see, uh, we're pretty close. Uh, see, we are really close. And uh, see, if you do this, we're very close. This is called Farmaker. See? So that's what I want to do, see? So here we go. So if we, if we don't have any other question, uh, we, we can continue tomorrow. So day one is in the can, as we say in the film business. For those of you who don't know what yeah. that is, the old days when you had TV in Hollywood, it was film, strips of film, and they would put it in the can and close the can. It's in the can, baby. So tomorrow I'm going to uh, demonstrate um, um, pretty much more, more of the control here, okay? Uh, um, those, we're going to be button, slide, and those things. But tomorrow I'm going to be less basic than I've been today, okay? So now I assume that you know what the style is, uh, what the state is, you know, like uh, the state is over, press, in focus. Uh, I assume you know that. I assume you know what uh, their style is and the theme here is. Uh, I'm not going to explain that again. But tomorrow, playing with those things here, we are going to learn how to play with those, okay? Uh, those four buttons here, uh, because they are essential. Otherwise, you, it will take hours to do that. And uh, and the fourth day, we are going to play a little bit with the pores um, and uh, and show. I'm going to show you what not to do okay. in order to prevent the the catastrophe. Cat a catastrophe catastrophe yeah. okay so cool well everyone we're going to catch you tomorrow welcome so that's conclusion of day one of a three-day theme conversation and then uh, worst case we could let it slide into friday were you planning on going into friday nick or what was your plan because you're supposed to only go three days right so yeah i mean uh on friday uh, we uh, 
I, I can deliver, um, actually, I can deliver this file with a complete theme ready. Really? Okay, well, Friday, well, we got our Dead Bird Free Friday. I'm looking at the schedule right now. And uh, so we have I'm free samples. I'm, I'm not, I'm not promised, I mean, I'm going to try, okay? Because it's a long, that's a lot of thing to do uh, after, you know, to in order to get a polish, Ooh, uh, really well done theme. That's a little, that a little small details that you need to make sure you addressed. Okay, so um, that's it. Okay, so M. Johnson just posted something here. I want to address this because I had a conversation with Clarice about this specifically. Um, uh, so can you bring up a Discord or a Nick on your computer? Oh yeah, sure. Bring it up, and we'll just look at this real quick because. Um, well, okay, so so here's the backstory on this for those of you who see this right here. So, uh, so Claris, before they were, and you were down there, Nick, um, before you and I had even really met, um, they said, yeah, you're going to have these themes, you can mess with the themes and do this and that. And so what we did is, is me and then Garrett Debsky, one of our senior engineers, came up with a video about how to edit the themes. And I literally, and, and because Claris had kind of encouraged this behavior, and the engineers that were in the meeting and the PMs, they thought it was fine. And so apparently I come out with this video. And so they ship the product at Tuesday in the morning, like 6 a.m. By 9 o'clock, my phone is ringing from the product management team. Okay, listen, these guys don't ever call me, ever. Ever they don't call me. I would have to be, I could be dying of bleeding on the ground and they would not call me. But they called me on this, right? <laughs> And they go, uh, you know, we told you it was a good idea, but then with the retrospect, we're telling you not to do that. And I go, why? And I go, they goes, well, you could end up boxing yourself into a corner because if you change that, some of that, we make certain assumptions about the stuff that's in there. And if you change something and, and our assumption isn't compatible with what you've changed, you could brick yourself into a corner, right? And so it's one of those things that's not officially supported. And I was officially phone called and warned by Rick Kalman himself. Uh, for those of you who know who that is. Um, anyway, so uh, so M. Johnson is totally correct. Uh, you can do it. Um, if you if you blow your... It's like you can play with, uh, with uh, black powder and gunpowder and make little rocket engines and stuff like that. But if you blow yourself up... My parents, I was building my own rocket motors when I was a kid because I didn't want to pay for them. They were really expensive. And we ended up deciding that we would just spend the money on the on buying the commercially made motors because they thought there was a good chance of me mixing my own rocket fuel in the garage might be a bad idea. So M. Johnson's talking about mixing his own rocket fuel. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that is what happened to you if you start messing with XML on the, on FarmMaker. But anyway, um, the the prime okay here the problem of about the the XML and the the C actually it's not the XML it's the CSS. FileMaker is using his own CSS language. It's not at all a CSS that you can go on the web and stuff like that. Uh, FileMaker has in, his own CSS. So the, the prime of this uh, edi editing of theme uh, on, from the back end is that, as, as they said, they assume that you have something here, or, but it's uh, I think it's... Um, uh, you, you have problems uh, of crushing the the layouts um, because uh, they are they, they are making so many tests here. They had so many version of CSS piling yeah. up. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah You, you yeah. know what I mean? Right, 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 no, right, absolutely. Right. And that was and that was the problem. See that that that, that this cart. If you look at the pullman, the cart's fine. Going backwards down on the black top is fine, but it hits one little bump there and it snags the wheel and it flips it over. And that's the moment where Claris assumes that something should be in the CSS and you've changed it and it and it goes off the rails. And so, and just so you know that Nick has been able to crash FileMaker more recently using the JavaScript and stuff because of memory constraints. This is another way of doing it. So I'm not saying don't do it, just play with it in a controlled environment. Kind of like this guy, he should have his helmet on, his gloves on. He probably got the top, said, oh, I'm just M. Johnson, it's no big deal, no one will notice this. And now this guy is immortalized forever in an animated GIF. This guy will be 100 years old dead, and this video will still be out there. So anyway, um, cool. All right, tomorrow we're going to pick it up, everyone. 2 o'clock Pacific time. I'm Richard Carlton. Welcome to FMTrain.TV. Nick Hunter, who is epically awesome. Nick, show us your face one more time. Yep. That's Nick, and uh, Nick is uh, awesome. He's loving it. Do, did we have any requests for buzzing in today? Did we did not buzz today? Oh, yeah, we had a run request. You know, moving, uh, 
a complex layout with a lot of objects. I have, a, I have a layout for that, that, that I have something like 2,000 objects, so we have uh, everything we need. Okay, good. All right, great. Well, we'll see everyone tomorrow. Appreciate it. Bye. <laughs>